Officials in Georgia are vowing to investigate tonight after widespread voting problems on this primary day that included long lines and problems with those new voting machines. The biggest problems happened closer to the metro Atlanta area. Some blame the statewide unveiling of the new voting machines. In Catoosa County, things have gone smoothly, and that's where we find Michelle Heron. Michelle, tell us what you've seen there tonight. They are still counting ballots here in Catoosa County. The holdup, those absentee ballots that folks had to get in by 7 o'clock tonight. Now, we do know that more than 9,000 people total voted here in the primary election here in Catoosa County. And right now they are stuck counting those uh, Democratic uh, mail-in ballots. So that's what's going on here right now. We do know that more than 6,000 people voted by mail-in ballots ballots alone. Now to put this into perspective for you, before today, the most mail-in ballots that they had ever had here in Catoosa County was between eight and 900. So 6,000 really blows that number out of the water. A special panel has been counting for the last two days all of those mail-in ballots and scanning them into a system. Officials say that before, uh, it, they actually saw some record numbers uh, with early voting here as well. Uh, before Election Day, they saw more people vote in that early voting period than they saw in all of 2016. So there is usually a higher turnout whenever there is a presidential race, but officials here think that that coupled with there's a lot of local elections going on and then just the place that we're in society, all of those factors are reasons as to why we're seeing such record turnout uh, in this election. Now, there were not any other issues that were reported with those new voting machines here in Catoosa County. Early Earlier, I reported they did have some minor issues at two of the precincts with some um, card readers, but they restarted those and didn't have any other issues other than that. Officials will continue counting and will keep you updated with uh, those votes inside the WRCB app. And uh, folks, uh, officials here will also kind of regroup and debrief, see what worked really well, what could possibly be changed as they get ready for the general election happening in November. Reporting in Catoosa County, I'm Michelle Heron for Channel 3. Eyewitness News.